what's up guys here's Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to locate and how to edit the php.ini file into your WordPress website but before I can continue please take a moment to hit the subscribe button like this video and share this content with a friend of yours you have no idea how much it helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in order to choose international sites favor so let's get this started First of all, let me explain why you should change the PHP initializing file. This is a very, very important file for your WordPress website because it controls max execution time, max upload file size and other very important files on your site. Have you ever tried to upload a media onto your WordPress media library and you receive it in error? For example, maximum file size limit you're gonna fix it on the php.ini and into this video we're gonna learn how to change this without need to access your host or other complicated files okay so let's get this started very first thing to do is locate the wordpress dashboard after this review the left sidebar of menus hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new into the upper right corner of our screen, next to the keyword, we're gonna type File Manager. And this is the plugin that we are looking for, okay? Install it. Now, let's click on the Activate button. After this, the plugin is gonna redirect you to the plugins list, a list where you can see all the great plugins on your site, the present plugins on your site. But if you review, once again, the left sidebar of menus, Next to the settings, you're going to be able to see WP File Manager. Click on it, okay? This is going to open the file manager of your WordPress website. You can close this tab. And if all goes right, if your, your host isn't, isn't a shared hosting and you have access to File Manager, you're going to be able to locate the PHP file right here, okay? Right here, you're going to be able to see the public HTML file and inside of this, you're going to be able to scroll down until you find the php.ini file. Click into download. Your Google Chrome may ask permission to download this file because it's a quite unusual file. After this, just open, continue download. After this, just open the file. You're going to open it into your notepad. And right here, you're going to be able to edit the upload max file size, memory limit, max input, input time, max execution time, and other very important things of your site. After this, go to file, save it, get this file. Okay, so go to your downloads folder, copy the file and, pub, and post it right here into the public HTML, okay, with your changes. The, this plugin is going to ask you to replace the files and you are good to go. And it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes or borderless plugin in order to gain widgets, elements, templates and tools to build up your site. Or Enzu WordPress team, the best free WordPress team that you can install on your site. Or growth.net platform, a place where you can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts for free and in the case that you want to go premium go to visualmoto.com purchase the visual Moto pass and unlock full access to our templates library hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click in addition with premium icons assets blocks templates designs tools and plugins and of course our full support and it is hope you guys enjoyed this video and i see you tomorrow all the best